media reported Nadav Argaman was in Amman Monday to try and negotiate a deal to end the diplomatic standoff with Jordan that also administers the holy site via its religious body. According to reports, Jordan will free the guard in exchange for Israel removing metal detectors from entrances to the site. However Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office later issued a statement saying there was no Jordanian demand linking the issues. Israel set up the security devices after Arab gunmen killed Israeli policemen at the site, holy to both Muslims and Jews. The move incensed the Muslim world and triggered violence. A phone call between Jordan's King Abdullah II and Netanyahu is expected later, media reported. Israeli media reports high-resolution cameras placed around Jerusalem's old city walls could replace the metal detectors that sparked Muslim outrage after they were set outside entrances to a major shrine. Channel 2 TV reported Monday the sophisticated cameras can detect concealed objects. Israel's security cabinet is meeting again Monday night over the issue. Israel erected the metal detectors after Arab gunmen killed two Israeli policemen from the shrine. The fate of the site is at the heart of the Israel-Palestinian conflict. Even the smallest perceived change to delicate arrangements pertaining to the site sparks tensions. Palestinians allege the metal detectors are an Israeli attempt to control the Muslim-administered site and launched mass protests that turned violent. Israel emphatically denies the claims insisting they are strictly meant to stop attacks. Israel's UN ambassador says he believes the standoff with Jordan over the killing of two Jordanians by an Israeli security guard near Israel's embassy in Amman will be resolved shortly. Danny Danan told reporters at the UN headquarters in New York Monday that we are resolving it with the Jordanians. Jordan reportedly wants to investigate the guard who opened fire and has prevented staff from leaving the premises. On another flashpoint, Danan said removing metal detectors from a major Jerusalem shrine is being discussed by the government. Danan spoke ahead of urgent Security Council closed consultations on escalating tensions in Jerusalem. He said the council should demand that Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas stop violence, stop paying terrorists, and stop Palestinian lies. Israel has set up metal railings leading to metal detectors outside an entrance to a major Jerusalem holy site. The installation of the metal detectors last week had outraged the Muslim world. The railings seen Monday are of the type used for crowd control, to create orderly lines. Israeli police declined to comment. A media report has suggested that such railings could be part of an eventual compromise that would enable the removal of the metal detectors. Israel erected the metal detectors after Arab gunmen killed two policemen from inside the shrine earlier this month. Palestinians alleged the security devices are part of an Israeli attempt to control the Muslim-administrated site and launched mass protests. Israel has denied such claims but has begun considering alternatives amid escalating Muslim protests. A former head of Israel's Mossad intelligence agency who was at the center of the last major crisis with Jordan says a deal could be reached to pacify Amman as well as cool tensions at a major Jerusalem shrine. Danny Yatom said Monday that Israel should remove metal detectors from outside the Jerusalem holy site, administered by a Jordanian religious body, in return for Amman releasing Israeli staff. Israel set up the security devices after Arab gunmen killed Israeli policemen at the site, holy to both Muslims and Jews. The move incensed the Muslim world. The Jordanians will release our people from the embassy and especially the security officer that shot, and in return we will help the Jordanian wake to carry on its role on Temple Mount, Yatom told the Associated Press, adding, we will also take off the metal detector gates. A shooting at Israel's embassy in Jordan further complicated the crisis. Jordan wants to investigate the guard who opened fire and has prevented staff from leaving the premises. Yatom resigned as Mossad chief in the aftermath of a failed attempt to assassinate a leader of the Islamic militant group Hamas Islamic in Jordan. The attack comes amid tensions over a sensitive Jerusalem holy site. In the past two years, Palestinians have killed 45 Israelis two visiting Americans and a British tourist, mostly in stabbing attacks. During that period, 
Israeli forces have killed more than 255 Palestinians, mostly attackers. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says an Israeli security guard who shot and killed two Jordanians after one of them stabbed him will be brought home to Israel. Netanyahu says he has spoken to the guard in question and assured him that Israel has experience in dealing with such situation and would bring him home. A news website linked to the Jordanian military reported that Jordan is refusing to let the guard leave before he is questioned. The stabber's father says he is demanding justice for his son's death. The guard opened fire after being stabbed with a screwdriver. The incident sparked a diplomatic standoff and further complicated efforts to resolve an escalating crisis over Jerusalem's most contested holy site. The father of a Jordanian youth who stabbed an Israeli security guard near Israel's embassy in Jordan and was then shot to death says he demands justice over his son's killing. Zachariah Aljawade tells the Associated Press that his son is a son of Jordan who was shot on Jordanian soil and it would be unacceptable for the Jordanian government not to seek justice for this. The son, a 17-year-old, stabbed the guard with a screwdriver late on Sunday. The guard opened fire, killing his attacker and another Jordanian. The incident sparked a diplomatic standoff and further complicates efforts to resolve an escalating crisis over Jerusalem's most contested holy site. The father on Monday denied reports that his son was motivated by tensions at the site. He says his son was unaffiliated with any group. A news website linked to the Jordanian military is reporting that Jordan is refusing to let an Israeli security guard who shot two Jordanians near the Israeli embassy leave the country. Monday's report in Hala Akbar says Jordan wants to investigate the shooter and if Israel refuses to allow that, it will take diplomatic measures. The report gives the first indication from Jordan on a diplomatic standoff with Israel over the shooting. The Israeli security guard killed the two Jordanians after being attacked by one of them with a screwdriver late on Sunday. Israel says the guard has diplomatic immunity under international conventions and is in touch with Jordanian authorities on the matter. The incident further complicates efforts to resolve an escalating crisis over Jerusalem's most contested holy site. A senior Muslim cleric says Jerusalem's police chief has met with a lawyer representing the Muslim leadership to discuss solutions to the escalating crisis over a contested holy site. The crisis erupted last week after Israel installed metal detectors at the compound following a shooting attack that killed two policemen. Israel's move triggered Muslim protests and claims that it's trying to expand its role at the site, which is also holy to Jews. Israel denied this charge. Cleric Ikrima Sabri said on Monday that a lawyer for the Muslim leadership met Sunday with Jerusalem police chief Yoram Halevi and heard a response to Muslim demands. Sabri says newly installed security cameras, described in media reports as a possible alternative to the metal detectors, were discussed. The lawyer is briefing Muslim leaders Monday. Israel's former foreign minister Tsipi Livni says she fears that Israel is on the verge of a religious battle with the Muslim world. Livni says that tactical differences over security measures at a Jerusalem holy site have deteriorated into something far worse and Israel has to stop this. Linvi told Israel's army radio on Monday that we are a step away from turning our conflict with the Palestinians and cooperation with Jordan and other Sunni nations into a pan-Muslim event against the state of Israel. Tensions have been high since Israel set up new measures after Arab gunmen earlier this month opened fire from the site, killing two Israeli policemen. A deadly shooting near Israel's embassy in Jordan has exacerbated tensions. Israeli media are reporting that President Donald Trump's Mideast envoy is on his way to the region to try and defuse a growing crisis over a sensitive Jerusalem holy site. Tensions have been high since Israel set up new measures after Arab gunmen earlier this month opened fire from the shrine, killing two Israeli policemen. Israel says the measures are meant to prevent more attacks, but Palestinians allege they are an Israeli attempt to control the Muslim-administrated site and have launched mass protests.
three Palestinians have been killed in street clashes and a 20-year-old Palestinian stabbed and killed three members of an Israeli family in their home in a West Bank settlement. Israel's security cabinet has reached no decision about the new security measures at a Jerusalem holy site that have set off a wave of violence. The top decision-making forum met overnight and into early Monday to discuss the latest developments, including an incident in which a security guard at the country's embassy in Jordan opened fire, killing two Jordanians, after being attacked. The incident is threatening to complicate the crisis over the holy site, which is administered by Muslim authorities under the auspices of Jordan. Israel set up the new measures after Arab gunmen opened fire from the shrine, killing two Israeli policemen. It says they are meant to prevent more attacks. Palestinians allege they are an Israeli attempt to control the site and have launched mass protests.